Oh, uh, hello. I'm playing Fatal Frame after weeks of not playing it, and I actually stopped and started over because I got myself stuck. Like in the fight with uh, Yai, the hanged woman, if you don't know who Yai is. She's the hanging woman in this first game. And I kept dying, so I started over, you know, saved my medicines and things, and now I'm past that part. And I'm really scared. Not even slightly kidding, you guys. I'm like... It seems to be locked. Doors are locking, there's green fire candles, it just, none of it makes any sense. What the heck? Oh! And there's now a ghost in the room with me. I know, Sadie, it's so scary. She's whining because she's scared of ghosts, too. Whoa! It's Broken Neck Woman. Of course it is. Who else would it be? Who else would dare to bother me? She's like, what is going on? She's up in my grill. I'm not even scared of this woman. Like, to be absolutely truthful, she just makes me angry. She's just, like, always there when you don't want her to be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the ghosts are, but her especially for some reason. Ah! And she makes a weird screechy sound, and it bothers me. Yeah, I'm trying to finish up the second night, really trying, but if I get scared enough, I'm pretty darn sure I'm just going to quit halfway through. Because I, I kind of know what's coming, not enough to, not enough to be confident. And I'm trying to find my way um, out of here. And apparently doors are locked, and somebody's locking the doors on me. Um, I think it's the mansion lord, or whatever the heck his name is, Humuro something. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing his name, and that's okay, because I don't like him, so... No biggie. Alright, so I gotta figure out. Uh, I'm guessing I have to go through the kid, the child room with the Kago, Kagome dolls. Um, guessing that's where they want me to go because that seems to be the only way since doors are locking. I mean, it's just so rude. It's like, hello, I'm a guest in your house. I know I don't actually take off my shoes when I'm in your house. You know, in Japan, in Japan that's like a big deal. But like, I kind of don't want to get blood on my feet. It's kind of gross. You know what I'm saying? Like, Ugh, why did she take so long to get in here? That's creepy. Oh, yay. Or maybe people are turning off the lights on me. I mean, I don't know what's going on anymore. Whoops, wrong room. Hello. Oh, wait, maybe that's the right room. I just opened a door. I was like, nope. <laughs> but there isn't any other... Oh, yeah. Now I know where I am, and I don't want to be here anymore. Oh, yeah, I said, if any of you know the uh, third game. You know how Reika is always like, I don't want to see anymore. And not gonna lie, she's probably one of my favorite um, Shrine Maiden characters, but um, I was saying how if I was a ghost, I would say I don't want to hear <gasps> Flippin' heck! Oh, a rope just assaulted me in the hallway! What? A rope just came swinging down from the ceiling and assaulted me in the hallway. Did I've been assaulted- damage? <gasps> No, it just made her jump, and it scared me, because it was like, ah! Oh, we're okay. And we just opened the secret door that leads to another huge part of this mansion. Like, just when you think you, like, know the mansion, you're just wrong. Oh, and also, you should be proud of me, all of you, because I actually turned on the uh, vibrating heartbeatness that, you know, you're supposed to turn on to have to be cool, you know? Okay, apparently there's something that I can't take a picture of, you know, and I actually have to turn that on, because, and it's actually not that bad, I mean, it's really creepy for me. Alright. There's something above me, or something, it's trying to tell me there's something above me, which scares me. I don't want there to be anything above me. I don't want there to be anything around me. There's ropes up there. Oh, found you. Ah, and of course I clicked the wrong button. I'm such a targ. There's talking ghosts above my head. That doesn't make me scared. So we go back through. Go through. Because, like, the whole thing you're supposed to gather the masks and... Well, you probably know. If you don't know, that's okay, too. You don't need to know. This game is way too creepy. Just don't, just don't play it.
No, I'm just kidding. Do play it. It's a great experience. If you don't mind your pants being scared. It, you know, if you don't mind getting your pants scared off, it's great. Okay. The blinding mask must be somewhere in the mansion. Hip it up. No, really? That's cool. I was kind of hoping I didn't have to go exploring anymore. Okay, so here's the pillar. Okay. Hmm. Blinding ritual. It's really scary. No good at all. We don't like it. Uh, I don't think I can look through this mask yet. Um, I don't know. What do you think? Okay, so we have two masks. So can I hang them? Okay. It's just, I don't have the mask to hang here. That's what she's trying to tell me. It's okay. I don't have the mask to hang there, apparently. Alright, that's cool. We're good. We good. We good. Um, apparently, I had the mask to hang there. And there's a really creepy looking mask there. That's good. It's good. Um, I don't know, actually, if I should... Oh, cutscene? I had no intention of beginning a cutscene. <laughs> this is what I get for exploring this stupid mansion. I should just stay... Oh. Uh, I remember this. Like this is... I thought it was, like eyes would open or something. Though. It doesn't have eyes. It's a mask. I you know, to... but still. This is the blinding ritual cutscene. Mm, I don't like it at all. Well, it's fine. Why is there a didgeridoo? There's not a Jeffrey Shush. Oh, it's so sad and stuff. And then I think blind attacks me, which is not funny at all. I just want this night to be over. Like, can this night just be oh, over? Why blind people? Because it's part of the ritual. Jeffrey, can you feed the cat so she stops meowing? The cat meows all the time. What's that? It's a mask with yeah, fakes. Yeah, it's a demon in it. mask. Yeah, he does. Is it because he's a demon man? No, it's just because he's rude. Oh, it's so sad. I feel so bad for the blind maiden. Like seriously, it's not funny. Uh. So wait, what's the ritual for anyway? It's like if you. If you blind the demon, like apparently she's the demon, like if you, it, or you have the blood, oh gosh, way to go. Uh, I can't explain it, you have to just read the, uh, bunch of text that you got. Hello. Oh, oh, it's okay. How come she talks but doesn't really move her lips at all? Because she's cool like that. Let me get out of this little space.